Hi Lyndall, it's great on this beautiful summer day to welcome you to the Archdeaconry Garden. Thank you. And with Venus, good to see Hi. you both. Thank you. And uh, I'm absolutely delighted to say to you today as we stand here in this glorious sunshine, uh, as fellow disciples on the journey, tell me how is knowing Jesus changing your life right now? Oh, thank you for asking. And uh, do you know, it's a funny thing, but this uh, little dog by my side, Venus, Black Labrador, is my new guide dog. And I have to tell you, this is a crucible of learning opportunities <laughs> for uh, how Jesus is changing my life. Having to put your trust uh, in a, a nearly three-year-old small black Labrador and having to believe that God is, uh, is, uh, is able to lead my life even better than she is. So she uh, steers me around the streets and she uh, shows me where to go and all those sorts of things. And it's such an exercise in trust and it stretches my trust muscles in the now, if you like. And that reminds me to be stretching my trust muscles with God in my everyday life, that God is able, more than able to take care of me. God is more than able to keep me safe. And I need to lean into that in the way that I uh, trust uh, a guide dog to lead me around I guess and it's a simple little life lesson but it, it makes a huge difference to me and it's a real prompter every day to be trusting God. That's a real gift thank you Lyndall and perhaps we should thank Venus most of all for oh, that yeah. for that uh, changing lives conversation. She's very happy to be sunbathing in your garden yeah. that's enough thanks for her thank you she <laughs> says. <laughs> well and of course um, that's uh, the first of our changing lives conversations questions as we try and help each other here in Canterbury Diocese change Change lives, changing lives. Be in action as we know we are across the diocese and equally articulate with our faith that we can tell other people about the good news of Jesus Christ. And the best way we can do that is really with our own stories. And Lyndall, I am just overjoyed that you're bringing your story to join our Changing Lives Conversations team. Tell us all the, the new role you're picking up in, in our Darson ministry. Thank you. Well, uh, let me uh, let me tell you before I do tell you that that it's an it's a, a wonder to me that we're even having this conversation because I am I'm sure I am the world's least confident talker of my faith especially to those who don't share my faith I'm really not a natural born you know some people can just do it automatically and I'm not that person and yet over lockdown I have reconnected with old friends friends from school friends from other times in my life friends from the local community uh, and uh, I don't know about you but lockdown has connected me differently with so many people and that faith conversation has just bubbled up far more naturally for me than ever before so it's a real joy to be joining the Changing Lives Conversations team and that's a team who basically uh, have the job of thinking about how we can help each other talk God as Bishop Rose said in her video from last week talk God more naturally uh, than ever before with ease with confidence and with joy because it quite often becomes a bit of a Oh, I should probably tell them about my, I should probably talk about my faith. Uh, doing it with joy, with ease, with confidence, guilt-free, all of those things. And uh, so for me, it is a real joy to be a part of a group that is seeking to help people do that within the diocese. And we want to get into telling stories of our own faith to each other in our churches and then also to those uh, in our local communities who we meet as we go about our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, it's, it's great to have you on the team, Lyndall, and we're looking forward to sharing our stories more and more in the weeks and months ahead. A team that's gathered from across the diocese, each archdeaconry lay and ordained, and some of you will know about Changing Lives Conversations questions. How is knowing Jesus changing your life today? And how can Lyndall and I, how can we all help each other be confident disciples in our 24-7 faith? We hope uh, gathering here with us in the Archdeaconry Garden in the sunshine today has given you a window into Lyndall's journey in that, and we look forward to joining all our stories together. Change lives, changing lives.